I am shooting this video to hopefully help you understand refraction a little bit better. So here's a definition. Refraction is when waves turn or change direction as they enter or leave new media. And remember, media is just the fancy way that we science people say stuff. Okay, so waves can go through air, like light can go through air, so air is a medium. Um, sound waves can go through air or water, so air and water are both different media. So don't be alarmed by that. Uh, my second point here, uh, refraction, how much refraction happens depends on the speed of the wave in those different media. So for example, let's say that you had, well I'll just use this picture. Let's say that you had one medium was air, where the person is, and your other medium was water. Um, air and water have different speeds for the light, for light when it goes through them. When light goes through air, it's actually faster. And when it goes through water, it's actually a little bit slower. And that speed difference causes refraction to happen. So this person, they think they see the fish right here, but the fish isn't there. The fish is actually here. And if you've ever gone spear fishing, um, you miss a few times until you figure that out. Uh, I know that because I've made that mistake. Anyway, uh, my third point here is that uh, refraction doesn't happen when the angle is 90 degrees. So if this person instead was right here, uh, looking down at the water, the fish would be right where they think it is because refraction doesn't happen at 90 degrees. Okay, so let's go further into this drawing of this guy right here. I want to help you guys understand why this is the real fish and this is just the image that the person thinks they see. Someone a long time ago, and I, I wish I, I remembered who it was, they taught me a trick that helped me understand refraction, and I, I use it to this day. So the trick was this. What you do is you pretend that the light ray that you're looking at, you pretend that you're looking down at it from above, and you pretend that there's two wheels connected by an axle. So when you look at wheels from above, they look kind of like rectangles, right? So we're supposed to pretend that there's uh, an axle um, and wheels traveling along this light ray. So let's see. Let's draw another one of these wheel and axle thingies right here from the fish. So let's say that the fish, the, some light leaves the fish and it's headed that way. These two wheels travel along this light ray and one of them is going to get out of the water first because they're at different heights, right? If you look, this wheel is up above where this wheel is, so this wheel should get out of the water first. So when this right wheel hits the water right here, it gets to go faster. But it's still part of the light beam, so kind of imagine that it's anchored right here. But since this right wheel gets to speed up, and this left wheel is still in the slow water, this right wheel gets to turn to its left. And so that's what causes the light ray to go to the left as it comes out of the water and goes into the air. If we wanted to imagine it in reverse or backwards, let's look at this wheel and axle right here. It's headed this way. Which wheel is going to hit the water first? It's going to be this right wheel, right? So this right wheel is going to hit the water, and what's going to happen to its speed? it's going to slow down. So this wheel hits the water and it slows down, but this left wheel gets to keep going faster, so it's going to pivot and it's going to turn to the right. So this this trick extremely helpful. Um maybe you've seen maybe you've seen a picture like this before. We call this thing a prism. Um and it's this one's it's shaped like a pyramid. Get rid of some of my drawings here. Um and someone has shot a light ray, a white light ray, toward the prism at this angle. Okay, so if we imagine, let's imagine here's an axle and here's a couple wheels. If we imagine these wheels, which one is going to hit the prism first? It's going to be the right one. 
Well, this prism is made of glass or plastic, and light is going to go slower. And out here, we're assuming it's air, so light is much faster. So this right wheel is going to hit the slower uh, moving material. The, the wave speed is going to go down in this material. So this bottom wheel slows down, and this top wheel gets to go faster. That causes a turn to the right in this case. So now let's imagine it's starting to split into a rainbow here, which is not part of this video, but let's say we've got our wheels inside the prism. Which one is going to get out of the prism first? Well, it's going to be the top wheel because of the shape of the prism. So when the top wheel gets out, its speed kicks up, it goes faster, but the bottom wheel is stuck going slower, so that makes the whole thing turn to the right again. So that's why the, uh, the light beams that come out are actually going down. Um, let me just show you another drawing. Let's say that here's uh, you, and you're looking at two different trees. This tree over here, it is exactly where you think it is. Why? Because the light that gets to your eye goes through this window, we'll say it's glass, and the angle is 90 degrees. Okay, so the tree is pretty much right where you think it is. But this tree down here is not right where you think it is. Watch. Let's say a light ray leaves the tree heading for the glass and it hits right there. Well, if we draw our imaginary wheel and axle thing again, the glass is going to slow that ray down. So which way is it going to turn? It's going to turn to its left or to its right. Since this wheel is going to hit first, it's going to get slowed down. That's going to cause it to turn left a little bit. And now let's imagine another pair of wheels inside the glass. Which wheel is going to get out first? Well, it's going to be the bottom wheel is going to get out first, and that's going to cause it to speed up. Which way is it going to turn? It's going to turn to the right, and it's going to go up here to the person. So what does this person see? Well, they see the tree, but where do they think it is? If you follow this line, it would wind up down here. So the person would think that they see the tree a little bit shifted to, I guess, to the right or down lower in my picture. So if you're looking through a window at something, if the angle is 90 degrees, whatever you're looking at, it is where you think it is. If the angle is not 90 degrees, the light has been refracted and it isn't where you think it is. So wh how do we humans use this? Well, um, people use this who don't see so well. Uh, this person, if they didn't have their glasses on, the city would look like this. It'd be all blurry, but with their glasses on, they, um, they see this nice in-focus city. And that's nice because that way people who can't see very well don't drive into things or fall off cliffs and stuff. And uh, how, does, how do we shape the glass to make it do what we want? Uh, that's actually the topic of a different video, but we use lenses. And these are your two basic shapes of lenses. And what we do is we use these different shapes to change which way the light goes, so that way you see a nice clear image.